we get really excited about around here at City Line, and it's the Pantone color. So we all sit back and we think, what is going to be the color for the year? This year, they've gone with really fresh, really cr clean. It's called greenery, just like Tiffany Pratt. She's fresh and clean. <laughs> Okay, we think greenery yes. and you think fresh, yep. um, but I didn't exactly think this. So <laughs> this is the Tiffany version of greenery. What I totally. love about it, tons of personality. Yes. This is not for the faint of heart, no, right? No, but it's a good balance between neutrals and green. And I would say for Pantone, this is my love letter. Yeah. This is my way of saying you can have greenery and greenery really is so many shades. When Pantone sent me this, this like look at all the shades of green, really. That oh, that's is all greenery. greenery. Yeah. So it's not necessarily one one color, one shade. If you can just hold that sure. up for us one more time, I was going to get a greenery shot of it. Greenery is all the colors. Yeah. So, so all the colors, yep. and you can pick what you're more comfortable with. If you want something with more of a gray hue, you got if you it. want something that's a little bit brighter, more lime, you have those options. We're going to be seeing this in fashion. We're going to be seeing this in homewares. And in my case, because I'm a crazy wild pattern lover we love right you. I say go for broke and do it all but yeah. this is all little tips that I'm going to share which is how to bring little pieces of green into your home so if you can't do the whole enchilada yeah you can do this just do a little yeah. enchilada so this is before my you even start those yeah. tips I want to know like what 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 is Pantone like, Pantone is the color authority of the world essentially <laughs> the entire I world. would say yeah so they're the only company that are really saying this is a code to give you this exact color okay nobody is doing this yeah so it's the only place where you can go if you do RG blah 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 you're all going to get the same color oh I see so it's, like it's a, a color. standardized you color got it. nobody's wheel. doing that right who's doing that no one Pantone. I wish I could do that Pantone's doing I that I want to be TP Pantone too. So when they decide that this is going to be the trend, this is going to be the color, yep. do you know what that's based on? They have 20 employees at Pantone. Yeah. They send these peoples out. They go on a little hunt to see what's happening. They're mm -hmm. seeing what's trending. They're seeing what people need. They're seeing what's out, not only in fashion, but in homewares, in everything. Right. And I, what they came to the conclusion with greenery was that we all need a little revitalizing. We all need to feel fresh. We all right. want to feel calm this year. Mm -hmm. So they thought that green would be the best color of the year this year. That's interesting. So 20 people in Pantone. Pantone have this special skill. They're dictating our yeah, life. They but are. That's okay. They probably felt 2016 was a tough one for so many people. We need that. We that's, need to like revitalize. I agree. Recharge the engine and get back out there. Um, and greenery. Think about it. Just plants and having that natural yes. element in our lives. Just the very name that they chose. Right. I think is really essential for us to kind of get back to core and say, you know what? Just having something so simple as. A plant. Yes. In my home. But like not just any plant. Well, like this you is know. humongous. Well, you know. Go big or go home, Trace. <laughs> Try right. and keep it alive. That would be the goal <laughs> in my house. So let's talk about how you can incorporate some of this color into well, your space. Well, let's start with the plant. Yeah, why not? I just said to my boyfriend, you have to talk to your plants. So <laughs> I know you do I this. I do. I touch them. I talk <laughs> to them. I water them. They're like my buddies. Yeah. But I think if you look at your plants as your friends, anybody could keep a plant. And injecting any type of real life in your home is good life energy. It adds yeah. a natural element. The organic lines of a plant are beautiful. And of course, they come in so many shades of green that having that greenery by way of something natural is so easy for just about anybody. Good for your air. So good for the air everything. you breathe as well. Good for everything. Totally. So and I love You're this so guy. Pretty. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. pretty. I love you. Be sweet to your plants. And then okay, little pillows so, here. Yeah. These so, are gorgeous. I'm obsessed. Yeah, these are really nice. Those those palms, they're just never gonna quit. No. It's quintessential. Yeah. It's quintessential. It's never it's it's timeless. Yep. Um it's you know, it's based on a, a retro pattern that's been around for a very long time, but the reason why it keeps coming back is because it's it's a classic. Yep. And right? you could do it's something as work. simple and fresh as this. Yeah. Just a little dash of green here and there. Uh, you can place it with a neutral, no big deal. Yeah. And then of course if you want to This is get... a Tiffany Pratt neutral, by well, the way. This is a neutral. I know most of you think beige, uh -uh. but no no no. This uh -uh. is a, that that's neutral. It's my neutral. And then you can go with a green sofa. All day. <laughs> All day. And this is this is IKEA, so it's not expensive and it's beautiful yeah. and it's fun. Low profile. Moss is boss in Japan right now, so All I right. want to tell the peoples yeah. that just a little element of moss and a great grouping of green items on a coffee table, super stunning, so you don't need to commit to something. If you're over it, you get rid of it, you redo your coffee table. Right. So get up on the moss, put a big old ball, spritz that business with water. And that's it. You're in. So that's a live, living moss. Oh, that's, that's real. It. Yeah. It's not faux. You can touch it. Oh, it feels it. good, huh? Well, it's like a, a cheap <laughs> 
like little chia pet. <laughs> but but moss is big. Moss I keep, is huge. It's like it's like moss is big in Japan, like David Hasselhoff is big in Germany. You know. Okay. So that's See, the thing. Now we get you know? it. Moss and then is this boss. is what we're gonna do at the end. I'm gonna show you a little DIY. But this is taking everyday vessels. Yeah. And with spray paint and water, I marbleize them all. Oh, so you made these. these I made these. I made DIY. Yeah. That's very cool. So taking elements in your home that aren't probably green and then yeah. spraying them with green and marbleizing them adds the green element. It's a little bit crafty, but it's non-committal. It's fun. And it's something that when your peoples come over, you can say, I made that. I made it. <laughs> yeah. Here's the thing. You can get all that stuff at secondhand stores. Totally. That's what I did. Right? Yeah, Super this is duper all inexpensive. And you DIY large. yourself. So if you're the person that doesn't actually want the green sofa, yep. this might be your nod to greenery for the year, and that's all you need. And marble's hot. And marble's hot. Marble's, marble's hot. always hot. Yep. Can we quickly just allude to this gorgeous wall? Like, is that a grass cloth? or it's is grass that... cloth. I love yeah. that. And grass the cloth texture is... The texture of it. You got it. I think this is a no-fail win for any home. Keep it yeah. natural. It wins, it wins, it wins. It just adds a, an element of luxe, an element of texture, and a little bit of dimension. And yeah. I think in this space, it really takes this green sofa to a place of, of class. It really does. Yeah, so it's beautiful. <laughs>